hi welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is laura hi hello welcome today we are going to do my trash it or cash it for the month of what was it june it was june right so if you haven't already i hope you consider hitting the subscribe button i do upload videos every sunday tuesday and thursday so i'm gonna start with this box of trash first oh <laughs> okay so i have like bath body hair stuff all here not a lot but i mean some of it was pretty high dollar actually i think the least exciting thing is going to be this so I'll, I'll just mention this now i have one of these like pillow mists from bath and body works i just have had these sitting around forever i have another one that i'm working on now and i just i never wanted to use them because i never wanted them to run out and yeah i'm getting use out of these now and I'm very happy about it. So I am counting this to my total because otherwise they would just literally sit in my dresser. So I have this here. This is the CND, sorry for the reflection, the CND base coat. Um, I do have a shellac light here at home. So I do my own gel manicures here. So this one is finally done. I've had this one for actual years. Like, I don't know how it like lasted so long. I don't believe CND is cruelty free, so I would not repurchase. Plus, it's just expensive. Like I think I want to try Dimensional Nails. They are a black owned cruelty free nail brand. So I want to give their gel polish base. I want to give their gel polishes and their base coats. They do have regular nail polish too. So this is kind of embarrassing that it's taken me this long. So I have this AG Color Care. This is old old packaging. They actually had this on sale at Ulta because AG was rebranding and repackaging all of their products. I have been low-key trying to use this. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I've been low-key trying to use this since October of 2019. So it's only taken me, was that, nine months to use this. I liked it, actually. I would consider repurchasing this if it was full price, 26 bucks. And that's expensive. And I don't, I don't fuss with my hair that much. So the next thing you would have seen me talk about in my project pan, the graveyard project pan, I will link it in the cards. But that is my Purity Made Simple Pore Extractor Exfoliating Clay Mask. They need to shorten the name on this. I have had this for quite some time. My grandma actually bought this for me for Christmas a couple years ago, and I had never opened it until this year. It was fine. I liked the smell of it. It was like lemony and kind of like spa-esque. Um, philosophy is not cruelty-free, so I will not repurchase this. I ended up not really liking it on my face. So I used it um, the last use uh, as a leg exfoliator when I shaved. So, and then the last item, I actually like this product and I'm kind of bummed that they're not cruelty free. That is my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Um, I got a ton of use out of this. Um, but yeah, this was fine. I like a cleansing oil, I think more. So I do like my the Body Shop one. So the next thing I want to talk about is all of my makeup empties. And there's... There's not a ton, but there's there's some, and I'm very proud of some of the things that I've accomplished this month. I think the most exciting thing is my Double Wear Foundation by Estee Lauder. This is not cruelty free, and I had been working on it for a long time, and I finally used it up. So, would not repurchase. Very matte finish. If I wore it too many days in a row, I think this broke me out just because your skin can't really breathe in this. Not a foundation that I would repurchase, even if. Estee Lauder was cruelty free. Then another one that I'm so happy about, and I hated using this every single time I used it. I just did not like it. And that is this Live Glam lip gloss in Unicorn Wishes. Now, as you can see, I've like used a tool and scraped every single thing out of here that I could. Hopefully you can tell. This particular one had like chunks of glitter in it and you could feel the glitter when you would put it on your lips and then you would not even rub your lips necessarily you would like or take a sip of water you put your lips together you talk you would feel the little gritty sandpaper of glitter in this and it was awful i did not like this so i have another one that i've tried because i was like if the other one has glitter in it i don't know if i'm going to be able to do them consecutively finish it the other Live Glam gloss I have is fine. There's no glitter in it. So I just, this one was horrendous. The next item I have been working on since technically the beginning of the year, since January, but I like was working on, there were two of them in my 20 favorites. I finished one. Then I was working on this one. This is my Bare Minerals 
um, blush in the shade Morning. I completely use this up. I'm very, very, very excited. Um, number in my blush category going down, which is a huge, huge accomplishment. The next thing that I don't think is exciting um, is my Essence Make Me Brow. I have the shade Brownie Brows. I feel like this thing was never going to die, but I took the stopper out and there's actually like there's a little bit of product on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's not usable and I don't know. It's just I've had this for like, I'm not kidding, like two years, which is kind of disgusting when I think the shelf like is six months. So I think it's time to retire this. I have been using a clear brow gel in my brows and I've actually been liking it because it's like freaking hairspray for my brows. I would repurchase this though. If I was wanting an effortless, an effortless um, just comb through your brows and done, I would repurchase this. But I think right now I'm really liking the hold that my current brow gel gives me. Then I have this bronzing. I'm going to show you the back because the front is so reflective. So this is the bronzing mineral veil. Again, Bare Minerals. I worked there. I have a lot of their products. So I finished this up. It took me two months to use it and I only had that much product in it. So this took me a while. I used it as a bronzer. Um, if the foundation was a little bit too light, I did use this mixed with a my translucent loose powder just to make it like not as like this was orange basically so i did enjoy this this is not um available anymore bare minerals is cruelty free but this product was like a limited edition kind of thing so i finished this up and i'm very happy about that uh then the last thing is my hangover rx3 and one replenishing primer and setting spray i didn't like this i don't get with the hype on the Too Faced Hangover line is. I really don't. I didn't care for the primer. I don't care for this. I really just don't understand why everyone's like, oh my gosh, Too Faced Hangover RX. Like, it's not that good. It's just, it was not that good. So would not repurchase. Happy I tried it to know that I don't like it. <clears throat> then I have some items that I'm decluttering, which I mean, it's, it's always a good moment when you realize you have crap that you don't need and you won't use anymore. You know, so the first couple items are just like makeup tools and I just realized I don't really like them or there's issues with them. First of all, this one is just so old. So this, this needs to go. I realized I hold on to sponges for entirely too long. So she needs to go. Um, then I have this eye brow brush. Um, nothing really wrong with it other than I just realized that I like a softer brow brush. I thought I liked this coarse kind of brush, but I like something softer. Who would have thought? Um, then I have this pretty thick um, eyeliner brush and I just don't, I want a really thin eyeliner brush. I don't want a thick one like this. Maybe it is a brow brush. I have a brow brush that I like that has a spoolie, so I don't need this one. And then the last one is this Morphe R1 brush. This was a lovely brush, but it's just starting to really shed and I don't need that in my life. So she is going as well. I am actually decluttering. I'm sorry, this is going to be very, very reflective right now. So I am going to get rid of my Bare Minerals. Hopefully that focuses. My Bare Minerals, um, the Wild Thing Quad. So all that I have left in this are those two shades. I scooped these bottom two shades and I repressed them in my subculture palette. Um, I just... This blue doesn't really perform that well. You can put it on, but it fades super quick, even with glitter glue. And then this color just is kind of just a meh color. I don't really like it. So this is super old. It's embarrassing how old it is. So those need to go. And then the last thing is this Revlon HD matte liquid lip in the shade kisses and i just realized i'm not going to use this if it wasn't in a project i'm just not going to reach for it and she is at least three years old she's um she smells fine but i can almost sense like the tinge of like i might turn it any day now and i just i'm not going to use this so she's gonna go and then I have um, so many things. I'm just gonna start with what I ordered first and then move it all the way back to what I ordered last. And then I will share, maybe I should just share this first because it was very sweet. So I first wanna talk about this little thing that my, my friend Haley, I will link her um, up above and down below. She sent me this care package because I reached, oh gosh, 500 subscribers and I honestly like cried when I saw this. First, I thought that 
did I order something and I forgot about it? And I was like, you, I, if, you, if we get on that level, Lolo, you have a problem. But I didn't order this. After I saw like what it was, I was like, oh my gosh, Haley just talked about this kind of stuff. So it like refreshed my memory. So I, it's just so sweet. So it came with a card that just said like, thank you for um, the 500 subs, which again, thank you so much, everyone that's subscribed. I truly appreciate it. This is from a little like Etsy shop that Haley had found called Nana's Garden. And it's like 100% like all like they grow all of the products that they make. So anything that's used in these, like the herbs and like whatever scents that they use, they grow them, I believe. So really, really cool that they do that. So the first thing and like the thing that actually like made me laugh the most was this lavender body butter and not the fact that like it's funny that I got a body butter because I freaking love this. It smells amazing. It's like super potent lavender but not in like that fake like way um what made me laugh was i was so excited to open it the first day i got it which was yesterday i like ripped it open like this and it was sitting in my mailbox and it was completely liquid so it kind of just went <laughs> sloshed everywhere i lost a, a tiny i lost a tiny bit of product but i have used it a couple times today and it it really, it just smells lovely. It's so emollient too, so you put it on and it's, oh, it's like such a luxurious feeling. It's not sticky at all. It does feel almost a slight greasy. Greasy's not even like the right word. It's just, it has like a, an oil, a slip to it. And it, it does take a nice good amount of time to sink into the skin. I really, really like that with my one day of using it. So the next thing um, was this tea tree or this, yeah, tea bath bomb. It's a rose bath bomb. And it's like all of the herbs in here inside of a cheesecloth, which I thought is just absolutely genius. Absolutely genius. So it's basically like you are a big thing in a big giant bath of tea. It's awesome. So I can't wait to use this. I have been um, once a week, once every other week, I'll take a bath now. And it smells, I'm not usually a rose person, but this doesn't smell like grandma which is normally what I feel like rose smells like. It just smells very nice. Very, very nice. Then what erupted in scent, like when I was bringing this up the stairs from the mailbox to like the apartment, were these shower steamers. Oh gosh, this one's like leaking a bit, so I'm gonna just set that one there. Um, this shower steamer is peppermint and I love anything with peppermint. Oh my gosh, it just smells amazing. I'm not going to take it out because it is kind of um, shedding a bit and I'd rather do that in the bathtub. It smells heavenly. Very, very strong peppermint flavor and I cannot wait to put that in my shower. Haley has mentioned that those shower steamers typically last her about three to four showers, which I'm very excited. And I think if you were congested or like your allergies were kicking your butt, um, that would be a wonderful thing to put in and just breathe in all of that wonderful essential oils and um, natural oils that that has. So again, very sweet. Thank you so much, Haley. I cannot begin to tell you how amazing you are. I'm so glad that I have a friendship like yours and that we have met through the wonders of the YouTube. So thank you. So all of the other things, I purchased them. Um, one of the things I don't really consider against like a budget of any sort, and I will get into that. So I'm going to start with what I purchased first and then move my way down. So the first thing I purchased was from NOLA Skin Essentials, and it's just this little box. I'm a little sad because the one thing that I was really wanting um, was out of stock when they shipped this. So they have they make everything fresh. Um, so they are making a fresh item. It's an eye cream. So I don't have it here. I will post a picture of it. But yeah, so that will come eventually. I don't know. They didn't really give me an ETA. So it'll be a little, a little surprise for when it arrives. So I bought um, a couple different things. First, this O Whale, which is so cute, O Whale Aqua Mask. This smells like the beach to me. Like it just smells like ocean waves and like just kind of almost salty, but like warm sand at the same time. It's very weird. It just makes me think of like being by the beach. So I got this to try. It is heaven, heavily scented. I feel like everything is heavily scented with this brand. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, I might 
avoid it but this is another black owned beauty brand um they do a lot of like handmade skincare which i was very very excited about the next thing um was just a mask brush. I hate touching my face masks. I've realized that that really is what hinders me from using my face masks. So I bought a mask brush. I've used it once so far with this mask and I am excited to use it with some of my like peel off masks that I have. Then I bought really, I, I mean, I was really wanting an eye cream, but then I saw that they have a recycling program and I got it went sucked into the black hole of wanting to buy more things. And like, you know, some of the stuff I, I just, I've been wanting to try, especially vitamin C serums. So I got a brightening C serum. Man, this like golden hour, like slit of light here is coming in clutch. So I got this brightening serum. This is just a vitamin C serum. It smells lovely. Again, I don't know if it's added fragrance or if it's just the ingredients that make it fragrance. So I've only used that one once. So I have to get my thoughts on and I will actually do a like updated skincare like recap of like some of the stuff I bought in the past couple months and then this stuff at the end of this month um and then I got a fountain of youth serum this smells like my mom's house around Christmas time so it just reminds me kind of smells like cinnamony and cloves it smells like that um I think it's yankee candle that makes like the little my mom used to buy like all of those tart burners um so it smells like the fragrance Home Sweet Home. It has like a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of clove, maybe some cardamom in it. Oh, just like nice and like almost just winter spicy. Oh, it smells so good. So the next items I got were actually from my flexible spending account store. So it's FSA store. So I have like money that's taken out of my paychecks and put into like a flexible spending account for like doctor's appointments and all of that jazz. It's just through my work. So they have like a little store and you can actually buy like sunscreen. They have some acne treatments and stuff on it. So I bought a few things. So I, um, I bought a couple sunscreens from Barrett Republic. I wanted to just give them a try. I do have one of the Super Goop sunscreens and I actually forgot to mention I did declutter a Super Goop sunscreen. It was the CC sunscreen. I gave it to my mom last weekend. It was way too dark for me. So I, I got rid of one. I'm almost done with one. And now I have two. So I have an SPF 70 and an SPF 30. I really was just curious about like this one being a gel. So versus like an oil fruit, an oil free. So wanted to give them a try. Plus SPF 70 for the summer, that's that's great. Then I got this Kula Nude Beach Tinted Mineral Lip Balm. Um, gosh, I'm sorry about the glare. I don't really like this. It smells amazing, but it just almost feels drying on the lips. I'm wearing it today. This just isn't hitting it for me. So I don't know. I'm like kind of bummed that I don't like this. It smells amazing though. It smells like honey crisp cereal. Then I saw that they had a couple acne treatments. So I bought this Glytone. They are cruelty free too, which was cool. So they have this Glytone thing and this is actually like a back and chest spray. And since my hair is so long, my hair actually like basically touches my butt. So I get um, some on my like shoulders and then like my back, just my hair is so stinking long. It like just causes some irritation on like my skin where it normally shouldn't. Um, so I got a back spray. This is just a salicylic, a salicylic acid, 2%. So this, I've used this a couple times. It's very, smells like acetone. There is no acetone in it, but there is like alcohol. It smells like, it smells like nail polish remover. Then I got this um, acne clearing toner. Um, I have the ordinary one and I don't really like the glycolic toner. So I got this one just to see. This one looks like a nail polish <laughs> remover. Um, I have not tried this one yet, so I will give that one a go, um, and then report back. And the last thing is a package from Beauty Bakery. I see people rave about Beauty Bakery all the time, and there has been some stuff that comes out that makes me not want to buy from them in the future now. This was my first purchase from them, but again, black owned brand. I did a lot of black owned brand purchasing this month. Um, one, especially the Juneteenth sale on Beauty Bakery was a huge incentive, but two, with everything that's happened this past month with the Black Lives Matter movement and just needing to support Black-owned businesses, I was very, very excited to purchase from Black-owned businesses. Especially, like, NOLA Skin Essentials is, um, 
I think um, like 99% woman owned or 100% woman owned and they're black owned. And then Beauty Bakery is woman owned and black owned. So it just like everything was like, yes, I want to order from these. So the first thing I got, which is too dark for me, but I'm making it work. I am wearing it today. That is my Insta Bake. Uh, Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation. So I got the shade 30 or 345 W, which is definitely too dark, but I have white mixers and I can make this work. And if I get a little color in the summer, it's fine. And then I got this flour baking powder. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cute. So I know Christina Chang has mentioned that um, she went through hers pretty quick, but I, I looked because I was curious because these mineral veils last me a pretty decent amount of time so i was just curious like the grammage on this versus the grammage on this guy this actually has slightly more than double the product as this i like the packaging on it i think that's very very nice so i'm very excited to try this out and then the last thing um i bought from an instagrammer nisha um i've can't remember her exact handle i'll have it on the screen and then i'll have her link down below i bought this specifically because nisha always raves about them and they are the blending eggs so i just took it and i would be lying if part of the reason i bought these was because i'm actually obsessed with eggs like eggs are i love eggs man like that um the amanda show this is what they come with i have one that i used today and y'all it got so big this is so soft so like, it's been like a few hours since I've got it wet, but that is so much bigger. They're so soft. I almost am kicking myself that I haven't bought these sooner. Something about this shape with that super fine point really got in to the under eye. And I, I love this. I don't think I will ever go back. So that is it. It was a long video, I feel like. I'm very, very happy about what I've brought into my collection. I'm very happy about what I've used up. And I'm really going to try in July to not buy. Thank you so much for watching. I am looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, stay healthy, stay sane, and stay safe. Bye!